We're now going to have a look at an example question uh, regarding the sum of the interior angles, okay? And in my previous video, we have seen that the formula to find the sum of the interior angles for any polygon is n minus 2 times 180 degrees, yeah? And very quickly, how did we create the formula ourselves by looking at several polygons, yeah? So make sure you've seen that video. And otherwise, go to my site, explainingmaths.com, where you're going to find all my resources for free, but then nicely organized. So I have two example questions here. The first one, calculate the size of one interior angle of a regular octagon. Okay. And then the second question is, find x, the size of x. Yeah. So we're going to deal with that one in a minute. First question one, the size of one interior angle of a regular octagon. Now, what is important? This word is important. Regular. Yeah, because a regular polygon means all sides are the same, yes, but also all angles are equal in size. A regular octagon. Okay, so to find the sum of the interior angles, we understand we have to do n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Yeah, so if we're talking about an octagon, it's 8 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So 6 times 180 degrees, and that is 600. 480, that's going to be 1080 degrees, yeah? Okay, uh, you can check that if I've done that correctly, but I'm pretty sure I did that. Now, how many angles does an octagon have? Eight. And if it's a regular octagon, which means that they are all the same, those angles, what do I do to find out the value of one of those angles? Well, then I have to divide the sum, divided by eight, and that is going to be, and I just cheated because I use a calculator, it's going to be 135 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So one angle in a regular octagon will equal 135 degrees. Good. Um, and that this question you can only answer because it's a regular octagon. If it would just say octagon, then you don't know. Then all the angles are probably different. Okay. So you can't just do divide by eight. But because it's a regular octagon and all angles are the same, you can find the total and then you divide it by eight, yeah, the amount of angles. Okay, find x. So the value of x, and I see some angles here, um, and two angles are unknown, they're both x, so that means they are equal anyway, yeah? Now let's have a look at the type of polygon, yeah? How many sides does it have? One, two, three, four, five sides, so it's a, it's a pentagon, and a pentagon, how many, how many, degrees here. What is the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon? Well, let's find out. We don't have to remember that. We understand this formula. You don't have to remember that one either because you understand it. You can always recreate this. 3 times 180 degrees. Uh, what is that? 300, 240. So that will be 540 degrees. Okay. So a pentagon, any pentagon, the sum of the interior angles add up to 540 degrees. But as you can see, some of those angles are given to you. 95, 145, 80. So can I, can I do it like this? Um, I think you can still see it now, right? Am I correct? I hope so. Well, you can't really talk to me, can you? So I'm just assuming you can still see this picture. So the total, 540, take away 95, take away 145, take away 80. Yeah. So how much is left? How much of those 540 degrees is still left? Now, it's still early morning here in Egypt, so I'm going to cheat again with my calculator. 540, take away 95, take away 145, take away 80. Yeah, but of course you should be able to do this without a calculator. 220, 220 degrees. So I'm finished now, 220, that's my answer. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Calm down. I have two of those angles still left. As you can see, it's an obtuse angle, eh? although those, um, those, those, those questions are never drawn to skill. You can see it's an obtuse angle, eh? while 220 degrees would be a reflex angle. So I'm looking for an obtuse angle between 90 and 180, ah, and 220 degrees is what is left. Now considering they are equal in size, because it's both the letter X, then I can say, well, if I still have 220 degrees, and I have to divide that equally over two angles, then each angle is going to be 110 degrees. Now, that's an obtuse angle. Fantastic. All right, next video, we're gonna look at exterior angles, okay? And the sum of the exterior angles of every polygon. So make sure you check that out because that is very important as well. Go to my site, explainingmaps.com for all my resources. You can also ask me questions there. You can find me on Facebook as well. You can find me on Twitter. 
um, and like and share this video if it was useful, okay? Then I can help your friends as well. Thank you very much, and I wish you a very pleasant day. See you at the next video.